Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection Vidors channel. I will show you the classic Seagrave fire engine by Matchbox. This is part of the 50th anniversary Superfast series. The classic Seagrave fire engine, or also known as the 1952 classic fire engine, has been included in the Superfast line of Matchbox models. In this 50th anniversary version of Superfast, the models included in the series has been repainted with a gold paint theme and some additional paint designs that is only for this line. I like the gold color. It is uh, metal flake gold. It shines and sparkles. Let's take a look at this fire truck. The fire truck is classic looking. It has a large fender in the front with a paint design for a paint stripe, black paint stripe with a white border on it, the fire department symbol on the door, and some font on top of it. I can't read this font, so I'm just going to make a, as close guess as I can. I think it's named as you name volunteers or something like that. Some controls at the back, painted in black paint. At the back of that controls is the 50th anniversary Superfast paint theme with the Superfast text logo in white and under it is a darker shade of gold 50th anniversary. It looks good. Under that 50th anniversary Superfast text logos are some uh, tools at the bottom for the fire engine that is part of the plastic base. At the truck bed at the back is a ladder with some black paint borders on it. And at the bottom of the ladder is the back fender with similar paint theme for the paint stripes. This is more uh, square-like, unlike the front fender which is rounder. The back fender has a toolbox at the back to show that it has some uh, things for the fire uh, crew to use. Here's the other side. We're now looking at the driver's side on the left. It has mostly the same details like the rounded fender in the front and the paint stripe. But the paint designs are interchanged. For the side there is the super fast 50th anniversary combination that is uh, on the other side it's on the door that is larger for this side on the driver's side super fast in white and 50th anniversary in darker gold with a black border on top of it is uh, saying unit number 58 uh, this is the truck number for this uh, uh, department just like on the other side, there are controls painted in black. Under the controls are some of the gadgets that is part of the plastic base. The fire department, instead of being on the door, uh, like on the other side, is now transposed. It's now placed in the middle, fire department symbol. Instead of having a ladder on top of the back fender, the uh, tools here are a set of poles. These poles are painted in black paint with uh, white paint on the edges. The toolbox is still at the back of the back fender. What I like about this model is the additional details like the side mirrors. Here's the front of the fire engine. It has three parts, plastic in the middle and the base, that is for the bumper and the grill. The metal body in gold that has the front lights and signal lights on the sides. On top is the windshield that has wipers. It's clear, it's not tinted. 
The back of the fire engine, starting at the bottom, has the bumper or platform in gray plastic that is part of the plastic base. And starting in the middle, going to the left, is a little bit uh, large rectangle that is for the license plate holder. On the gold metal body, there are some casting details for the connector, for the hose, and some uh, light casting on the sides for the brake lights on top and signal lights at the bottom for each side of the truck. In the top of the license plate holder, there are three shelves. In the middle, there's nothing in the uh, middle area, just a space. So I'm thinking that the personnel will get here to grab the hose on each of the side shelves. The hose are made with black plastic. Looking at the top of the model, it has some additional casting details. The casting details include the engine uh, front hood. It has a line in the middle and some divisions for uh, showing where the engine doors can open. At the top of the windshield are some shapes on the sides and in the middle. These are most likely the uh, fire engine lights to warn the people that the uh, fire truck is going to its destination. The interior is very visible because there's no roof for this truck. At the back of the interior are some spindles, cylinder spindles that has a black plastic in the middle for the hose on each side. At the back of the spindles are some plastic parts. There are some divisions. So let me focus a bit. There we go. So each of the uh, spindles at the back there are some line casting details. They're in plastic and those are for the hose on each side, filling the side shelves. In the middle shelf, there's a texture to help the firefighters have a grip while they're stepping in the middle to get the hose. The interior of the fire engine has a long bench seat for the passenger side and there's a gap then the driver's seat on its left. The seats have lines for cushions. In the front of the driver's seat is the driver's wheel. Just beside the driver's wheel is the transmission stick. Like other matchbox truck models, the steering wheel is made to be a cylinder. So it's not a separate piece. Here's the bottom of the model. It shows the details, like the name and brand. One more thing about the model, because it has plenty of gold paint, the rims in the middle are also painted in gold. Let's see how the classic fire engine rolls. It rolls good. This ends my video art on the 1952 classic Seagrave fire engine 50th Anniversary Super Fast Edition by Matchbox. Thanks for watching, enjoy your collection, and see you with the next model.